Hi, I don't think we've met before. Nadia Milliner, it's a pleasure to meet you, Maria. Are you from the Chicago Rosalinis? Oh, you must give my regards to Great Aunt Frances when you get back. I stayed with her last time I was out that way. She was very sweet to me. I'm working on my masters out here. I'm from back east. The Giovannis have been nice enough to let me stay here while I finish up my studies. I've learned a great deal from them, like you wouldn't believe. I, um, I really can't say much about that. Oh, forget about it, really. It's nothing. Okay, I'll show you something, but you can't tell anyone. Promise? Follow me. Come on. You know what they do in this room? Mm-hmm. Know what they do with the corpses? I shouldn't do this, but why don't I show you? It gets pretty weird from here. Don't say I didn't warn you. Oh, and be ready to run. You'll understand when it happens. Follow me.
kindred. Your presence here violates the agreement between our leaders. Leave now, or face the consequences of your actions. There is an alliance between your leader LaCroix and Mistress Ming Zhao. You violate the agreement. If you do not leave, we are not responsible for your death. We'll give you one more chance to leave this place and keep your life. You will go? My wunderkind returns. In my entire court, I knew there was only one who could have succeeded in this task. Finally, the Ancoran sarcophagus is ours. Come, I've granted Beckett's request to study and document all the markings of the sarcophagus. You've met Beckett, haven't you? Let's go take a look inside and see what the commotion around the city has really been all about. What have you assessed so far? Unfortunately for the Heralds of Doom, it appears we won't be opening Pandora's box. The markings, as far as I can tell, are of Assyrian origin. An extraordinary piece, but nothing earth-shattering. I see. Then there is no good reason why we shouldn't open it. <clears throat> oh, budge. Beckett. Do you see any mechanism for the lid? I haven't as yet had a chance to pour over it with my fine-tooth comb. I think I have one in my bag. <clears throat> why won't it... Why won't it open, Beckett? 
And you? I thought you said it looked as if it had been opened on the Dane. I want it open! You. You and Beckett, figure out a way to open it. I need to know what's inside. I have other matters to attend to. Come get me when a solution has been found. Ah, the depths to which I'll sink to prove others wrong. The young ones get so temperamental. Fortunately for Sebastian, is it? I'd already made up my mind to open the sarcophagus, if only to show the city that Gehenna, contrary to popular belief, has not begun. In the last few seconds, I've had very few epiphanies. I may be old, but I didn't build it. How knowledgeable are you on ancient Assyrian funerary constructs? Hmm. Fortunately for us, I know of someone who has distinguished himself in this field. His name is Dr. Anders Johansson, a professor of archaeology from Norway. He was the one responsible for finding the sarcophagus, and as far as I know, the only authority on its origin and design. Until yesterday, he could have been found in his suite at the Empire Hotel downtown. But when I stopped by earlier this evening, all I found was spilt coffee on a morning paper. Appears he's been abducted. I detected the scent of myrrh incense, which is usually burned in monasteries. Also, I found beach sand in part of a muddy footprint. Putting two and two together, I located a monastery near a beach in Malibu, where I believe hunters are holding Johansson captive. Actually, there were two hunters on the roof of the building opposite the hotel who were positively delighted to tell me everything they knew, provided I stopped dangling them headfirst over the side. The hunters abducted Dr. Johansson for his own protection, or at least that's how they've justified it. He's being held by the Society of Leopold and used, quite ingeniously, as bait for Prince Lacroix's minions. Sebastian mentioned you ran into one of the hunters from the Society of Leopold some time ago. They're so secret a church organization, I don't even think they know if they exist. But essentially, they're murderers for Christ, or some such deity. You'll have to go to the monastery and find a way into the tunnels beneath where the hunters are holding Johansson. I'm afraid I can't accompany you, but then it's best you go alone. Too many of us might set them off, like fundamentalists on contrary opinion. I wouldn't recommend walking. Certainly Sebastian's already provided cab fare. I'm sure he always spares no expense when archaeology is at stake. Excellent. Hmm. I've said quite a lot about myself already. I know even less about you than you do me. Why don't you tell me about yourself? I consider myself a seeker of reluctant information. Scholar sounds like academia. Ugh. How versed are you in the occult? Then you wouldn't know that Dracula, the fictional vampire of movie fame, was very real. His real name was Vlad Tepes. And he was a Jemisi, though he was not Sabat. By some accounts, he still lives into these nights. Unless you've got further questions, I'd really like to get back to looking at the sarcophagus. Did you find a way to open the sarcophagus? I can't have my protege looking plebeian, can I? 
You'll find I can be very generous towards those who serve me well. Point made. Master? 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 Yes. The Voce del Morte. The Giovanni never willingly share their secrets, and I've had little success infiltrating their strongholds. How did you obtain this? It will take some time to translate and unlock the secrets of this. I will have to move on from this city to evade any Giovanni seeking it. Take this. This will complete the terms we agreed to, and I think it is adequate compensation. It is the key of Alamut. It instills dread in those that would harm you, and makes it harder for them to strike you. Make no mistake, our dealings do not make us allies. If indeed we meet again, do not ask me for any favors. I will give you this final advice, however. Leave this city. These are its final nights. Discord looms heavy. I've felt this before.
I just might. Why don't you ask everyone else in the world? They'd know. Ash, there. Go tell your friends so they don't bug me. <laughs> I bet. The sun's gone down. Never mind. Me neither. What's the catch? To say yes would be an understatement. What do you care anyway? I could just do it. Just walk out of here and do a legend. Maybe I live, maybe I don't. What's the difference? You didn't see them? Hunters in front, back, inside my club. I try to leave, they'll move on me. So I had to ask myself, if I go out there, am I prepared to die? How many could I take out before the killing stroke, huh? Two, three. I could just walk out there right now, blaze of glory, the end. And you know what? Knowing that, it doesn't bother me. And I guess the only reason I haven't walked out yet is because I'm trying to figure out why it doesn't bother me. Hey, did Isaac send you? What the hell, then, would be your motivation to help me? Fine, I've got drawers of the stuff. My life's so goddamn easy because of it. So, how do you get me out of here to cash in? You sure about that? I don't know that you even out the odds a whole lot, but just maybe we'll make it out alive. Are you ready right now? If I make it past the hunters, I'm getting the hell out of town. Let's head into the sewers.
that was the last one. Here, this is for your troubles. You know, I only lived in Hollywood for ten years. I wonder how long I'll live on in her after I go. Hmm. It was as far as I could fall. It was as low as I could go. Way past oblivion to a point only described as negative zero. My Vegas connection paid me a visit this afternoon. Popped this trunk, and what do you know? Had a flamethrower, a few tanks of spare fuel. It's yours if you want it. But, uh, ain't you flammable? Konbonwa, demon. Dogoriska, where? You want to kill Hengeokai with me? Why? Wakaremashita. Fish market de ikemas. See you there, demon. Dozo. You're both here, my hunter and my target. This is very convenient. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise. Ogami Yukie Des. I return you to the Hengeokai is in hell. My revenge is complete. Domo arigato gozaimashita, demon. Defy your nature, demon. Man can suffer without your help. Sayonara.
Oh, look who it is! A badass of Chinatown! You want Fortune Red, Miss Superhero? Maybe you interested in making some cash? Yes! Big, big dollar for easy job! All you have to do is make one person disappear, but not like magic show. You understand? Why don't you say it a little louder so people on next block can hear? Yeah, that's what I mean. That's fine. I find someone else who need a lot of cash. You may not believe it, and I don't care, but I used to be number one hitman for Chinese Mafia. They call me Ji Wenja, travel agent for Underworld, because I send so many people there. Before I retired, I carried out biggest mission of Korea. Kill visiting Chinese government official. Too big mission for one man, so I have friend Lu Feng assist me. We kill man, but have to hide reward so no one trace hit to us. Lu Feng and I both have key for cash box, so both of us have to open it together many years after hit. But Lu a snake, he kill me once I open box. He say, I kill him. Big liar. So we not speak anymore. But I need money. I want his key. That's right. I give you 10% of money you kill Lu. I sure Lu have key on him. You bring me key, I give you money. Everybody happy, except Lu. Ha ha ha. You good kid. I wait here for you. Lu a big boo sponge. He spent all his time and money trying to perfect art of being drunk, drunk, drunk off his ass at Red Dragon Lounge. You probably smell him before you see him, like a weasel he is. Let me tell you something. You come closer so can hear. Let me tell you something. Kids. Kids don't know nothing. Because, because you see them. You, you see them running in the street. They do climb, but not, not, not crime, not organized. Just thugs. Just shoot, bang, and steal. It's just a mess. Not so organized. Hmm? Yeah, see, you see, you, you see? They climb, they not organized. Messy, uh. <laughs> no one can do it, no more. Just shoot, bang, bang, whoever. Cop no good. All a mess. Not organized. Pseh! <laughs> Lu Fang no! I Lu Fang! Lu Fang, he no! What's uh, Wait, come closer. No say too loud. Was Hitman. I kill. Kill good. Lu Fang kill a lot of men. Retired. Happy retirement, Lu Fang. No more work. No more money. Uh. No tell bartender. Got some money. But need more. Got some hidden. Lock away. Need two key to get. Lu Fang only have one key. Lu Fang used to have a partner, not partner, friendly. Lu Fang have friend, Ji Wen Jia. Ji Wen Jia, Lu Fang friend. Both kill people for money, for people, for tong. Uh, good tong then, not bad tong now. One time, man need killed. Man very hard to kill. Take both Lu Fang and Ji Wen Jia to kill man. Pay lot of money to kill man. Money go in safe. Lock with two key. One key, Lu Fang. One key, Chi Wen Jia. Things get, uh, how you say, weird. Yeah, Lu Fang no think he trust Chi Wen Jia. Chi Wen Jia act funny, strange. Lu Fang think Chi Wen Jia want to kill him. Chi Wen Jia get shifty eye, you know. 
Lu Fang notice. Lu Fang read people very well. Ji Wenjia, he up to no good. Huh? Okay. Don't listen to more of Ji Wenjia lie. Word like poison to brain. <laughs> oh, so Ji Wenjia want to kill Lu Fang, huh? <laughs> Big surprise. Lazy con man Ji Wenjia. You take his word? He fake. He faker, big faker. He lie. He no pay you. Get his key for Lu Fang. Lu Fang pay you twenty percent. You see, Lu Fang, Lu Fang, your friend, twenty percent. All right, go to Ji Wen Jia in marketplace. Get key with extreme prejudice. I give you twenty percent, lah, and make this secret. Good hitmen never talk nothing. Okay, bye bye. See you around, quiet lady. Where my key? What? Lu a liar. You bring him key. He go see now. I say what deal? I don't know deal. You not trust Lu? Ji Wen Jia, your friend. Wait, wait, wait. I give you thirty percent. You take care of Lu. I give you more money. Guy hate Lu. Hello there again, lady. You find key I was looking for? Thirty、hmm? percent. You think Ji Wan Jia can afford to pay thirty percent? He need money for child bait. Got to buy the comic book and the video game. Ask him about nephew in bathroom, huh? Do world favor. Kill Ji Wan Jia. I give you forty percent. Where my key? Forty, Lu evil man. When he was hitman, he kill women, children, pets. I only kill other men. He have no conscience. Okay, okay. I hate Lu so much. I give you fifty percent. Hello there again, lady. You find key I was looking for?、Hmm? Huh? Okay. Don't listen to more of Ji Wen Jia lie. Word like poison to brain. Ji Wen Jia, slimy like a worm in spaghetti. He pay you in dagger, make direct deposit to you in the back. Lu Fang like you. You kill slimy Ji Wen Jia, doggy kisser, seller of sister underwear. I give you sixty percent. None of that matter. Too many years between Lu Fang and Ji Wen Jia now. Maybe so. Lu Fang not know. How you can trust man? For so long, he want to kill Lu Fang. Now different, huh? No, Lu Fang not think so. Maybe so, but you think Lu Fang want dead more people? I get away from, retire, no more. You like lady, very honorable. Lu Fang want friend and not more blood. I make good or bad blood from all the years. Ji Wen Jia, welcome to Lu Fang. I want friend. Do Jie, ah,、uh, thank you. I hope next time you see Lu Fang, Ji Wen Jia there with drink too. Where my key? If I open treasure with Lu, Lu kill me 'cause he's sneaky. What I do? Trust Lu? Ha! That like trusting booze with Lu. You know he going to drink it, so don't give him opportunity. Maybe, but Lu crazy. He wants kill puppy 'cause it bark all night and keep him up. You want me to trust puppy murderer? 
Two weeks ago, I said, Hey, Lou, stick this up your ass, and I gave him finger. Otherwise, I haven't talked to him in 25 years. Maybe, but... All right, I will talk with Lou. Maybe we can work this out. But if he try anything funny, big Lou stain all over Red Dragon. Thank you.